Hello, stinkies. I'm warning you right now. I'm really congested right now. And I also just got up. Like, I just woke up. So bear, <laughs> bear with me, please. I might cough and sneeze a little bit. I think I have a cold, too, which doesn't help. And my alarm for medicine is going to go off in, like, three minutes. But we'll deal with that one when that becomes a problem. But hi, guys. Good to see everybody. I am I think I'm finally over my Wild Horse Islands burnout, maybe. <laughs> kind of like a test today. Horse breed plus song for an edit. Um, is it just Wild Horse Islands breeds? I've had this avatar for a little bit, but it's not been that long. No, it doesn't matter. Um, you should do a Clydesdale. Cause that's my favorite horse breed. Ooh, I don't know about songs. Might be on your own with the songs, but I can at least help with the horse. I would recommend maybe like Imagine Dragons songs, cause they have a lot of good songs. Yeah, I like. I don't really know what I'm gonna do on Wild Horse Islands today. I'm kind of just here i'm probably gonna do just a little bit of horse hunting and maybe we'll do like i don't know we'll do something we'll figure it out <coughs> although i'm sorry if my voice sounds weird or anything as i did say i like just got up right around the time that i started streaming i literally Woke up, ate, got up, started streaming. That's how- that's my day so far. My inventory's like a little bit full right now. There's my alarm going off. I mean- Okay, sorry. I- Went ahead and disabled that because I knew he would glitch out really badly. Yeah, I've been playing this game for a long time. And I have a really bad habit of hoarding things. And also, every time I try to do like an inventory clear out, it doesn't do anything <laughs> it never fixes anything it never fixes the issue i'm mostly just trying to get the other marwaris i need i want to finish my capture log again but also horse hunting is gonna be the death of me like i know i need to horse hunt but also i horse hunted so much during the valentine's event that i like burnt myself out pretty badly which is you know not great I'm like, I don't know. I'm like one of those like birthday candles that you blow out and then they are, they stay off for a few minutes and then they come back on and catch on fire again. <clears throat> Hi, Caster. I'm hoping to work my way back into Wild Horse Islands. Also, apparently the question mark, question mark, question mark event got revealed. Um, it's not an event. It's a Roblox thing. It's like a, it's like a Roblox egg hunt kind of style thing that they're part of. It's not anything interesting. <clears throat> I 
Like, I can't say that I'm surprised because I'm not. I figured it was gonna be. <laughs> I figured it was gonna be something like this. Because every time they've done like the, ooh, mystery, that it's always been something like a promotion. It's never been anything actually interesting. How's your throat doing? Um, well, I can talk still. <clears throat> I can't say that it, my throat feels great right now, but. No, height wasn't a question mark event. Um, the height update replaced Stable Island. They were both plans updates and then uh, height just got swapped to be sooner. Uh, this is the... What, Chestnut Sabino? Yeah, Chestnut Sabino. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was contagious through the screen. Oh my gosh, I'm... A little out of it today. <laughs> oh, look at that! Hello! The raw chicken tech aids. First rare horse I've seen today. <clears throat> Good night, caster. I gotta check all their hairs on here because of Pearly, because I know for a fact if there ends up being a pearly IUH, I will walk right past it unless I check. And even if I do check, I still might walk right past it. Wait, hold on, I just realized. Do you have your... Who has your horseshoes on? I think I have them on Kaboom right now. No, they were on Popcorn. Why did I put them on Popcorn? Honestly, IUA hunting is like purely luck based. You just gotta get lucky. That's pretty much all it is. That's exactly why I haven't caught one in so long. Because I'm not lucky. <laughs> you know, that is a good point. That is a good point. I would say, yeah, the, the bay and chestnut are probably the cooked chicken. And then the, uh, the black teke is the burnt chicken. We got the whole chicken family. Yeah, you're gonna have a better chance catching like basically any horse in a private server because you have all the spawns yourself. So it's like private servers are definitely worth it if you want to get rare horses, um, like quicker. Also, I'm curious because I, it's been a bit. Has, how's everybody's opinion on the Marwaris? Love them, hate them, unsure about them, they've grown on you. I'm curious to know. Because at first I was kind of like, oh, they're okay. They're, they've grown on me a little bit. I like them. They're okay. But, like, they're not my favorite ever, I would say. You still have the TB curse? I don't know. We're going to find out. It's been a bit since I horse hunted, so I, I might have broken free. Like, I will say, I'm very- I'm happy that they were better received than the Tekes. Because, I think we can all agree, the Teke release was a disaster. 
I think we can all agree the Tech A release was an exhaust but it was a disaster. Giant disaster. <laughs> oh yeah, the Palomino Avera coats are really pretty. They have quite a they have a few pretty coats. Gosh, the tech the, yeah, that's one thing with the tech A's. I hate how shiny they are. Like if the coats weren't as shiny, I don't think I'd hate them. I, I think I'd be okay with them. I think if their coats weren't that shiny, I think they would be okay in my books. Hello there. I mean, to be fair, the Marwari really does just look like a Frisian in a way. Kind of like a Frisian Arabian, in my opinion. But I'm okay with them. I don't hate them or anything. They're, they're okay. I, like I said, they're not like my favorite ever. But I would say they're probably... I don't know. I would say they're probably kind of around the same how I feel about the Andalusians. Um, I don't really think they look that much like a Tech A. I think it's just... they. They're, I mean, they're bound to slightly look like the Tech A, because I'm pretty sure they're both, if I remember correctly, at least like in Mod Horse Islands, they're both in the same area. They both have increased spawn rate on desert. So it would make sense that they looked a little bit like, you know, a little bit like a Tech A. But at the same time, you're never going to get a horse that doesn't look like another horse breed, because... Like, it's just kind of impossible. Every horse is going to have some kind of feature of another horse breed. It's like 7.30 p.m. I woke up late today. I ruined my sleep schedule again. So that's fun. Yippee. Yeah, no, the waffles command is a chain reaction. One person does it, everybody does it. Luckily, I'm pretty sure that with desert, there's, um, what is it? My brain's not working. With desert, I'm pretty sure there's not any IUHs that are, like, hard to see. Like, I'm pretty sure all of them you can kind of see from a distance. So, I'm not- I don't have to, like, go up and check each one up close and personal. Hello there, Icelandic. How are you? I don't know why there's an Icelandic on desert. It was a little out of place. A caster went to bed. It's really late for them. Set timers. Um, Right now, no. Because I'm going to take the sleep that I can get. I've had a couple things happen in my personal life recently, which I'm not going to get into detail about. But it's definitely like, it, it hasn't affected me like horribly. But it's still, like, kind of a lingering effect. So if I could just sleep more and not worry about that stuff, I'm gonna take that opportunity. Like, I completely inverted my sleep schedule again. around Sophie I don't know I might take some time during stream today to try and uh, plan out like an auction because I know I talked about doing that on a stream a little while back it's just a matter of actually getting it set up
I mean, you guys have plenty of time to save up money and stuff if you do want to participate in an auction. Because I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. No, that's just you. It took me, like, ages to hit 14k. I was on, like, 13k for so long. Like, what I'm probably going to do is because, I don't know, it's just, like, I'm at that point of subscribers that every time we hit, like, an 1,000 milestone... It just isn't as like special anymore so i'm probably gonna start just doing like big celebrations for subscriber counts at like intervals of five so like 15k 20k 25k because that's just one makes it easier on me two makes it a little more special when we have to wait longer for like a big celebration you know and then i can also plan something bigger instead of it being like just a stream where it's just like yay we hit this number of subscribers yippee and then that's it another 100 ken giveaway <laughs> oh my gosh it'd be insane like Man, some- okay, you guys, it took me so long to do that original 100 Ken giveaway. Like, I'm not even kidding. There was like, I think we had like four or five people just constantly breeding Kens. To get that 100, get those 100 Kens. Because it took so long to build it up. Oh, there's a blur on a lot of horses. Are you talking about this blur? Because if so, that's, um, it's depth of field. And the point is it's supposed to help, like, focus on whatever picture, whatever you're trying to take a picture of. So, like, say I'm trying to take a picture of fast woman. I click on this. Blurring out the background makes her much more like visible and it really puts the focus on whatever i'm taking a picture of like it's nice i just i don't know if there's a toggle for it i wish there was kind of like a toggle for it like I don't know. I feel like a toggle would be nice for the depth of field if you're trying to get, um, like, a photo of something really far away. It's, it's, it's really a giant pain when you're trying to get a picture of something far away. I wish there was a toggle for it. So, my horse is- Oh, okay. So, your horse's coat is blurry. That's something that's an issue with Roblox. If you just rejoin the game, it should fix it. If you're on mobile and you press like your home button and then immediately reopen Roblox, it should also fix it. If it's not working, it's something with Roblox. It, it's Wild Horse Silence isn't at fault for that. That's something that has an issue with Roblox, and that's been an issue for like a really long time. I think it, it's happened to me once. I don't know if there's like a specific cause to it, but it doesn't really seem like there is. She has the green and blue one from Training Island. <laughs> I hope Roblox eventually fixes it too. I don't know if there is a way for them to fix it though, which is the kind of stinky part. Uh, I'll save jungle for last. I don't want to do jungle yet. I 
need to get in the habit of collecting these seashells. Catch. Oh. Um. Don't know if anybody needs a black marwari. I don't need it. Oh, none. I'm asking Tim and Tango because I've already talked to them previously about it. I don't know if they either of them need it. If not, Caden, you can come grab it. Oh, let's leave that funny guy there. We'll come back. Lunar is my favorite island. It's just very pretty in general. I'm waiting to see if Tem or Tango respond and neither of them are responding. a pretty good island. Darn Mustang. Is that a emo can up there? It is. Kaden, do you need an emo kin for your capture log? Like, I know you sent me a list at some point, but I don't know where the heck it went. I mean, it, it's an emo kin. I'm, I, what else would it be? No, surprisingly. Okay. I don't think there's any other mods in the chat I can offer it to either. All right, well, in that case, emo can. I'm going to keep them. Okay, now we got to go check the other side. I already have an emo kid. It's been rotting in my stable. I mean, you know, you do you.
I I had two, but I gave them both to Tango. I had two mismatch ones that I gave to Tango. Um, it doesn't blur on my side because I haven't got the glitch. It's it's something that's not supposed to happen. It's different for everybody, so your stuff might be blurry, but it might be fine on other people's end. You want mod apps open? I have no idea. Probably whenever I can get my sleep schedule fixed again. It's a funny Clydesdale. Let me see if I can find the list you sent me, Caden. There we go, there it is. It'll be useful. You haven't found the Cromello Andy? Um, as of right now, there is not really an age requirement. Which, when you- once the mod applications release, it has, like, it tells you all the rules and requirements and things like that, so. Alright. If I finish jungle, and Tem and Tango haven't replied, Kaden, you can come get the Black Marwari. Like, I don't know, I got lucky, and since I started playing really early, I was able to finish my capture log for a lot of the breeds, like, pretty quickly, before, like, there were so many breeds in the game. Like, I had my Clydesdale and Frisian log completed before the V1s even left. Oh, um, there's Sharp Cheddar. I still haven't caught a blood bay. We actually gotta check the hair on these guys too. A uh, sharp cheddar is an infernal techie. Also, I think I might have the TB curse still. I've seen quite a few TBs today. How many IUHs do you have? Um... Let me count. Eleven. I haven't caught any of them myself. They were all... All attained through trading or gifts. How'd you get her? Um, if I recall correctly, I traded for her? I either traded for her or I got her as a gift. I don't remember. But you can get infernals from burns by turning in volcanic minerals. Or you can trade for them. Yeah, the blur thing happens more frequently with mobile from what I've seen. The only time I ever got it was when I was on my iPad. Uh, Burns is up here. 
Volcanic minerals can be found from the deposits that are thrown out at the top of the volcano. Like, these horses are really nice, because you know what? I can just... Whoop. They were immune to the lava. Ooh, lag spike. Uh, I can see if I can get another mod on the chat, Caden, so you can step out. Hold on, Sharp Cheddar needs pet. All right, Tango's coming to get the Black Marwari. All right, now we just gotta check... Jungle. Ugh. One of my least favorite islands to horizontal on. Yeah, jungle takes so long, but that's why I kind of saved it for last. <laughs> I've come, I have like a decent path. Um, they kind of move on their own, they kind of move with expression. It's kind of like a mix. So, like, when I blink, they wiggle. But when I raise my eyebrows, it depend that that's what depends how, like, high or low they are. So, it's a mixture of things. The wiggling is from blinking, and my eyebrows control if they're standing up straight, or if they're flat, or, you know, all that stuff. Now, here's the thing, right? Unpopular opinion, I loved Old Volcano. I actually really enjoy the parkour, and I very much enjoy, like, how it's set up and stuff like that. And... I love Volcano. It was my favorite island until they did the graphics update. And made it green. And that's what ruined Volcano for me. Like. It's covered in grass. And plants and stuff like that. One eruption and that's gone. 
All it's gonna take is one of the volcanic deposits to land on some grass, and that grass is gonna set on fire. But they made it green, for whatever reason. I don't know why they changed that. They could have just left it how it was, and it would have been fine. I like to put my brightness low and pretend it's black. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> that was one way to get around it. Like, here's, here's the thing, right? Just get an infernal horse. The infernal quarter horses, appies, and paints are usually, like, really cheap horse-wise. I mean, you still technically can get every single old horse coat. It's still possible. You can get them on the new breeds. You just have to have a breedable horse that has that coat. So like, like the legacy coats. Um, you're not a legacy coat. Where's one of my legacy coats? No. Where? Okay, here's the legacy coat for the white quarter horse. But it's on a Frisian, and I could still breed this Frisian and get it on other horses. Yeah, I mean, it's the horse breeds themselves that got phased out more than anything. All the coats are still obtainable, it's just a little bit more difficult now. But you can usually find tons of people selling, uh, what is it? Selling legacy coats for relatively cheap prices because there's so many of them in the game. Okay. Oh, Kaden! Hold on, I think this might be one Kaden needs. No, never mind, this is the only one Kaden doesn't need. Never mind. They need literally every Percheron except for the chestnut one. I mean, to be fair, I am streaming a lot later than I usually do. Okay, well, I checked all the islands. Nothing, like, crazy good. I didn't get anything from my log. I'm excited to see if they do add the donkeys and stuff. Like, I know there's people who are like, oh, but it's Wild Horse Islands and this and that. We already have reindeer. Not the end of the world. And it's like, who be fair? Who be fair? Donkeys are probably one of, like, the most well-known horse-like animals that aren't horses. You know, like... You know, they were originally gonna add a Pegasus at one point. They were originally gonna add permanent unicorns at one point. Scrapped both of those. They added the Unicorn Academy unicorns that majority of people hated. Um, they added the reindeer, which a few people liked, but a decent chunk of people didn't like. If they're gonna... Like, if they can add reindeer and they can add... The Unicorn Academy Unicorns, they can at least give us donkeys, because the donkeys will probably be actually cute. Like the reindeer. I think- I personally think the reindeer are cute. 
They're a little bit useless, but they're cute. Like, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Wild Horse Islands was never intended to be, like, a realistic horse game. Like, so many people get upset being like, oh, I don't want unicorns. This is supposed to be, like, a, like a realistic game and this and this. But we already have event horses. None of them are realistic. The only one that could maybe pass as a real horse coat is the Daisy Dunovero. Um, we've already had the Unicorn Academy unicorns. As much as I hate them, they still technically are part of the game. We've had... I know, you can put cowboy hats on your horses. They can carry around cups of hot cocoa in their mouth. This is never intended to be a realistic game. It's really obvious it was never intended to be a realistic game. Yet some people still are adamant on it remaining a realistic game but it's it never was in the first place yeah color changing stones like this game was never intended to be realistic i when i did the interview with trick he literally talked about multiple things wanting to add multiple things that were not like realistic to current time such as like adding extinct horses or magical horses or different animals like donkeys and things like that they were always plans to be magical horses and things like that but because of people complaining about it so much they keep holding off on it like that's honestly why I'm kind of happy Horse Life is just embracing the fantasy. Because so many horse games are so afraid to embrace any fantasy elements. Because then the people who want a realistic horse game are going to be upset. But here's the thing. The market for realistic horse games is insanely oversaturated on Roblox. I could think of probably at least 10 horse games that have enough realism to pass off as a realistic game on roblox like off the top of my head like i don't know i wish horse games were more unique I'm sad that a lot of horse games just follow the exact same trends and the exact same mechanics and don't try to do anything unique because that just doesn't set them apart from the crowd. Like, oh, the mystery event got revealed. It's, it's not anything to do with Wild Horse Islands at all. It's a Roblox event that they're participating in. You think they should add for new accessories? Well, I would love to see them add, like, some more accessories that could be used in, like, a roleplay manner or, like, a realistic manner. Such as, like, um, I think they're called, like, fly veils. Like, the mask that you put on horses to block the fly, like, block out flies from their faces. Like, ear bonnets would be cute, too. Like, there's a lot of really cute, like, more realistic horse accessories that they just don't have at all. Like, I'm glad they finally added girths because it's a, it's a very small thing, but it's it just adds a little extra touch, you know? I wish there was a way to sell, like, tack sets as a whole. I really wish they- I really hope they add something like that eventually because I would so love to see people open, like, little tack shops where you can buy pre-made tack sets. I would totally- I would totally buy pre-made tack sets. Yes, that's a co it's a Kaveh cosplay. You- yes, you are correct. Like, I don't know- I don't think I have the image still, but a long time ago, I made, like, a mock-up image of, like, a wooden mannequin horse. 
that could go on like Market Island, like over here in this corner where there's like free space or something like that. Or even behind these hitching posts. Like some kind of horse mannequin where you can display a tack set and sell it as a full tack set instead of having to sell it in pieces or trade it, you know? Like, I feel like that'd be really cool. They'll probably add blankets someday, just probably like way, way in the future is my guess. Cause I know they've thrown around the idea of blankets in the past and they threw around the idea of blankets alongside girths. So since we're finally getting girths, maybe we'll get blankets eventually. But yeah, I, I wouldn't get your hopes up because um, almost every time they talk about doing something that people actually want, they never end up doing it. Like, it's it's sad, but that's be it's become a normal trend there. Hold on. Wait, I'm thinking. I really only have four of those? Okay, well I guess I only have four of those. I need to get to work with that. Maybe we'll do some breeding. Like, I can get the OG stat white Frisians easy enough. It's just getting ones with workable personalities is the hardest part. What is BBA? It's a writing club I own. It's currently, like, not existing right now. It was open for a little bit. It shut down for a while. And right now we're working towards bringing it back. But we have a lot of stuff to do before we do it. Because last time, the, um, the release of it was very rushed. So, okay, OG stats is essentially the highest possible stats on a horse that you can get naturally. Every horse breed has a different OG stats. For example, hold on. This horse. These numbers on the right, so 70, 75, 80, 75, 85, that is the OG stats for a Frisian, both V1 and V2. There goes my internet. And it's different for each horse. I know there's lists out there that have, um, like, lists of the OG stats for each breed. Ice cream or apples? Apples, because I'm lactose intolerant really bad. Yeah, it's like a Roblox egg hunt. But, like, not... I don't think it's... It's not literally called an egg hunt. It's just called, like, the hunt. It's some kind of, like, collection thing that you're gonna have to go between a bunch of different games for. But, um, yeah, we're trying to bring BBA back. I can't promise that'll happen anytime soon, but I'm still not used to the new breeding thing. I gotta get used to it. All right, I'm gonna breed this horse with his horse.
that's not what I wanted, but okay. Maybe that'll at least look cute. Well, hey, any horses I don't want, I can just sell them at an auction, so I'm gonna buy 10 of those. Let me check out your stats and stuff. Okay, you're kind of cute. You're not bad. That's actually kind of cute code on the Percheron. Okay, so your OG stats, so OG, OG auction. You can go back in my pocket now. Check your hours played. Hold on. Where is that? There. That's how that's how many hours I have. How high can the inventory space go? I don't remember. I know it's pretty it's pretty high though. Mine's like pretty small compared to the max amount. What is your question? I think yeah, I think it might be 12k. I don't know though. Uh, well, hold on. Let me see. Um, yeah, you probably could get a low tier IUH for that. You just gotta get kind of lucky. But IUH value, especially the lower tiers, is apparently going back up again. So I would keep that in mind too. Yeah, they, there is no set value, but people have been able to get, like, an estimated value on them. Because, like, there's so many different IUHs, there's no way to, like, have a set value on every single one. But there's usually, like, a range that people kind of have. Like, right now, I think the range is, like, 2.5k Moonstone to, like, 3k Moonstone for, like, a low-tier one. But it also kind of varies depending coats breed what iuh tier it is and things like that white sapphire t oh that would be really pretty i'd love to get a white tb iuh someday currently missing any forever fools um i have a bunch that i need to make still but i have majority of the horses i need to make like every in-game coat into a forever full it's so, like, I gotta finish up, um... Oh, let me grab this. So I have, I still gotta do these guys from the 23 winter event. And then... That's kind of it for now. And then I gotta continue working on, like, the other coats. How much horses do you have in your pocket? I have... Precisely 417 horses in my pocket. I know there is an icy blue white thoroughbred, which is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. How many IUHs do you have? I have 11 currently. Give a tutorial on how to play. There's a lot of things. Um, I've considered making a beginner's tutorial like video. 
because it's a lot it's like not something i could just like all say in one go i'd have to like sit down and write a list kind of thing dang it i should know better than be breeding the black pinto pertrons because they just they, it's like a disease every time i breed a black pinto pertron with anything it just becomes it's a black pinto pertron every single time every single time near you you should be og stats yeah i don't no oh, hold on hold on we're renaming you because i don't like how i didn't capitalize that all right you're going back in the pocket Save legacy code. Oh. Probably just like any of the paint ones. I like all the paint legacy coats. I do also really like the uh the V1 Dapple Grey Clydesdale and the V1 Dapple Palomino Clydesdale a lot too. But I like Forever Full so much. You know, I really don't know. I think it's just because they're they're cute and funny looking. I don't know. That might just be me, though. My Also, my forever full count is outdated. I need to do a recount. Let's do a recount while I'm thinking. I need to grow you up because you're not a forever full. I gotta make sure there's no, like foals in here that are just normal foals i think that's the only normal foal because all the other ones have had enough time to grow up all right let's do a recount there's 10 per row so one two three four six seven eight nine seven four, thirteen thirteen times 10 is 130. So 130 plus 18 plus 17 plus 5. Wait, no, 6. Plus 6. We are sitting at 171 forever fulls right now. Yeah, I know you can ride forever fulls, but it's very glitchy and it's like a very long, annoying process. Okay, come here. Okay, let's... DBA horse and I'll grab like a random actually no let's just try these two maybe we'll get at least one horse we need um normal mismatches aren't crazy value majority of them are like not that high value the only mismatches with like really insane value is v1 uh, mismatches which makes sense because they are not obtainable anymore people tend to overprice mismatches quite a bit but if people are going by actual mismatch values they are pretty reasonable i'd say How'd you learn to play Wild Horse Hounds? I just figured it out, honestly. I've been playing so long that I, when I first started playing, nobody posted anything about Wild Horse Island. The only person who posted things was like Cooley, I think. So I was kind of on my own and I just had to figure things out over time. What's a V1? It is an original version of a horse. So there's V1 quarter horses, appies, paints, Clydesdales and Frisians.
Yeah, it's kind of insane to think that it's been that long since Wild Horse Islands came out, but... I'm in a private server right now. I might join a public in a little bit. I don't know. I'm a little tired today, so it's just gonna kind of depend. When were the fjords made? Ooh, that's been- it's such a long time ago. When I first started playing, the fjords hadn't even come out yet. All right, we got another BBA horse. Let's go. Look at her. She's so proud of herself. The BBA horse. Uh, BBA is a riding club. I'm working towards getting like uh, show horses, essentially. When I first started playing, there was Border Horses, Appies, Paint Horses, Clydesdales, and Frisians. Those were the only horses in the game. Uh, BBA is being rebranded a bunch. We're trying to update it to make it more inclusive and stuff like that. We're going through a whole process of updating things. Which, these specific Frisians, the, uh, the white thoroughbred coat Frisians, are being set up for the dressage team. You like FNAF? Yes. I shouldn't be so tired. I slept like the whole day. Yeah, we're trying to bring it back, but we're taking our time with it and trying to get things like, I don't know, we're trying to thoroughly plan out everything before we do anything, you know? Who's your favorite FNAF character from Security Breach? Uh, I would say probably Funtime Foxy. I mean, I have a poster of them on my door. Like, um, right now, there isn't really any good way to join the club. Um, if you're in my Discord server, there's a link in the announcements to it, like the Discord server for it. And I'm in the Roblox group. You can find the Roblox group for it through my profile. But, um... I can share some of my some of our plans with you guys. You guys are curious. You guys would like to hear about some of the BBA plans. I think you guys will be very excited to hear some of them. Oh wait, no, security breach. I'm <laughs> I'm thinking of the wrong one. And there's so many FNAF games. Security Breach, uh, Roxanne. For some reason, I thought you meant Sister Location. I saw the S and immediately thought Sister Location for some reason. I don't know. I can't lie. I never got big into Security Breach. After Sister Location, I kind of fell out of the community a lot. I still I'll keep up to date with it. I just I'm not as familiar with Security Breach and stuff. I do not know what that is, no. Yeah, I heard about the egg hunt thing. Alright, hold on. I'm pulling up the, the thing. So, we're when we reopen, we're hoping that we're going to have four disciplines. Four different disciplines to start with. And then we're going to branch out to more of them as time goes on. Um, our four disciplines that we're hoping to start with are dressage, racing, equitation, and trail riding. And we also have plans for things like show jumping, barrel racing, um, as well as 
many many others like cross country and things like that we're just wanted to go with four semi easy ones or ones that we already have lots of experience in yes trail riding which our plans right now is all four are going to be available to discord members only racing, equitition, and trail riding are going to be available to, um, like, Roblox only uh, members until we can find a reliable way to get dressage working. Are you kidding me? Really, internet? Really, really. Hold on. Gotta rejoin again! Yippee. We actually hosted a little mini dressage meet for the Discord members the other day. And it was really fun. I think I had a lot of fun. Okay, hold on. I was checking something in the mod squad. All right. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just gonna stay in the breeding center and per and pretend that an IUH spawning is not a possibility right now, because I'm not rechecking all those spawns. Forget that. Okay. Anyways. As I was saying before, I was rudely disconnected. Um, some of the things that we're going to try to have prepared upon the relaunch is going to be things like riding uniforms. Um, so we'll have like a wide range of riding uniforms, hopefully available for people to purchase and use either for group activities or just in general. Um, we got to hire staff, obviously, and things like that. Um, we're also already making preparations for competitions. We're planning out how we're going to go about competitions. We're going to be have- yeah, we'll have like specific rules and guidelines for each disciplines. And we will have them probably posted in a staff channel and we'll have those rules and guidelines covered with each lesson as well as probably have them publicly available somewhere. We're still working out the fine details. We're probably going to relaunch to Discord members first and then make preparations to launch to just everybody in general because that's going to take the that's going to take a lot longer. And our goal is to have BBA up and running fully again before May 31st. That's our that's our hope. We're hoping to get that done before May 31st and have the entire of, entirety of the group fully open to everybody. Um, we are planning for sure to have group lessons. Private lessons won't be available until later on. Uh, let me, I have, I have a whole guide on the whole thing. So this might change. But this is our limitations here. How many slots are open per lesson? 10 people per instructor at max. So if there's two instructor, uh, instructors, there can be up to 20 people max. If there's one instructor, there can be up to 10 people max. If a lead instructor is hosting a lesson, they can have up to 15 max. But it's up to the teacher slash instructor to give however many slots they feel like they can handle we're essentially going to have it set up where the instructors post about a lesson and they post the information about it and then people can reach out to sign up for the lesson that's our goal so we're we're trying our best to like we're trying our best to work out all the little details before we open so we can make it as clear as possible for everybody involved. Um, instructors are required to have Discord and then they have to put in an application. And if we feel like they are fit to be an instructor, we will accept their application and go from there.
Um, you are not required to get any specific horse for BBA. These horses that I'm getting right now are gonna be for like the um, professional teams. So during lessons, you'll be asked to have like a specific horse breed probably on certain occasions, but you're not gonna be asked to have specific coats or anything like that. Also, yes, I got you. Here is the OG stat for Frisians. It's all the ones on the right side of the like two numbers. Welcome back, Caden. But we're working on that. We still have a long ways to go, but we're trying to make as much progress as we can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a private server right now. I'm gonna jump in a uh, public server probably soon. I know what I do want to do is before BBA launches is potentially do a couple streams and do some dressage lessons where people can watch and kind of see what it's like. All right, his mouth just glitched out really bad. I'm just drinking some water. Um, if I get another legacy, I'm cursed. I got a legacy. <laughs> oh no. Here, do you want to see? I think legacy coats are just like, they spread like a disease. Right? <laughs> Almost all of these. Almost all of these started from one Pertron. I had one Black Pinto Pertron, and it turned into this. <laughs> one! <laughs> one of them. And you want to know the worst part? Almost all of them are energetic. Almost all of them are OG stats. They're all almost born on the same day. Yeah, like like I said, the the legacy coats spread like a disease, I feel like. I, I can show you guys some of the things we have planned. For this is mostly for dressage, since just dressage is the only thing that um we've fully like thoroughly planned out so far. Yes, I'm the owner of BBA. I'll show you guys our planned dressage horses. So for starters, we have one of our dressage teams, and this is the uniform for it too. Very simple, but it looks nice. This is one of our only actually named ones. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I have that much storage because of game passes. But this is one of the uniforms for our dressage team. We decided to go for red and black because it looked nice and it looked elegant. And then we also have... If I can find them. Then we also have the other team. Which we had to, we had to get like a classic black Frisian, you know? It's only fitting. Favorite horse, uh, Ken. Favorite horse breed, Clydesdale.
Trail riding, yes. It'll be Western trail riding. We are hoping to open with the three English disciplines and then at least one Western, which will most likely be trail riding since that's the easiest one for us to work with until we get instructors for specific Western disciplines. We're primarily like an English discipline group, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep it open to Western as well. We want to be as inclusive as possible and have everybody have an opportunity to do their favorite discipline in Mud Horse Islands. It's just very difficult to plan out some of them. But those are our two Frisian dressage teams we're gonna have. We also plan to eventually, which these ones will come later, we plan to eventually have a Percheron dressage team as well, which we don't have the uniform set up for them yet. But this is one of the coats that we were planning to use. And then I don't know if we have one of the other ones yet. I don't think I have one of the right coat for the other one. Okay, well, I don't have. It's this coat. We're gonna put this coat as on the other Percherons. Um, I can grab a link to the BBA Discord, hold on. Oh, Caden beat me to it. Never mind. Which, hold on, do we have... I do not have the Roblox group in there. Hold on. Let me put a link to the Roblox group in there as well. There we go. There's a link to the Roblox group in the information section now. Alrighty. Let me see, do I have any more horses I can read? Yeah, this TB appeared in one ed an, edit I bleh, an edit I did. I cannot talk, sorry. My brain is not brain in today. Let's do this one. That's an OG stat one. Bro. Bro. Really? <laughs> Bro. I hate it here. I hate it here. I need to see if I can catch Evan online at some point tonight. Because she's gonna be helping us with BBA preparation. Though, get this. I think you guys are gonna love this. 
we are going to attempt to make the competitions as like realistic as possible as in we're gonna go through the extra effort to set up like um sponsor banners and things like that to kind of give the feel of like an actual real event as much as possible We're, we're going through great lengths to try and make this as exciting as possible. Which, if anybody has any ideas for BBA, feel free to throw them at me. Because I will gladly take them into account. Because we're trying to figure out if there's anything else we want to do before the launch. Um, the sponsorships won't be real companies. Our plans are to use fictional companies that we've come up with ourselves or have like little promotions towards uh, shops that some of the higher ups own or like certain YouTubers and things like that. So like stuff like that where it's like it's not really actually beneficial. It's just kind of like a fun little thing. Like, what I'll probably do is I'll make a poll at some point for what the next discipline should be when we open BBA up. Like, what should be the next one we work towards adding and implementing. Yeah, no, trust me, we're not gonna do anything that is super, super controversial. Like, I was even iffy about having racing as, like, a discipline, but we're just gonna be- we're gonna have to be really careful with that one. Like, I know, um... I know for a fact saddle seat's probably not gonna be one we even consider. So like food vendors? Yeah, it's a Roblox egg hunt thing.
We don't really know anything about it yet. We know the name. It's called The Hunt. But I don't really know anything else about it. I mean, yeah, every discipline can have abuse. But I know we're probably going to try to stay away from, like, the really, really bad controversial ones. Like the way it is, it's it's set up just like how the roll the the uh the old Roblox egg hunts are set up. Which is why a lot of people are calling it an egg hunt. I don't know if it's gonna be an actual egg hunt, but the Roblox egg hunts used to be set up where there would be a ton of different games. You'd have to go into each game, do some task to earn the egg, and then go to a different game and do that for a bunch of different games. My guess is it's going to be exactly like that. I don't know if it's going to be an egg hunt and we're going to get eggs or if it's going to be something more similar to the one event. I don't remember what it's called, but the one where it had like the four different people you had to do quest for. Your highest tier IUH, um, raspberry. Yeah, no, I feel like them trying to hype it up as, like, some cool special Wild Horse Islands thing was, like, kind of stupid. Because it's not unique to Wild Horse Islands at all. It's just another promotion. Every time they do, like, a question mark, question mark thing now, I'm just going to immediately assume it's another promotion. Yeah, it probably is some sort of egg hunt, especially because of the time of the year it's happening. Because, like, March to April is, like, around the East- around Easter time, so it's, like... Um, I would probably be kind of worried because I don't know how they'd even go about that because there's only been one St. Patrick's Day event ever and I doubt it's going to happen. I doubt they're ever going to bring it back at this point. Like the last hope for it was that question mark question mark thing being a St. Patrick's Day event and it's not. So I don't think it's ever coming back. They're just, they just got people's hopes up for nothing. If there was a version 2 Clover Clyde, the original Clover Clyde probably wouldn't lose its value. Because when the version 2 v uh, Balfrisians came out, their value hasn't been affected by that at all. Because, like, the reason Clover Clydes are so highly valued is because they're a V1 and they're one of the oldest events. Just because a new version of it comes out doesn't mean its value is going to drop a bunch because it's still a really hard to get really old version 1 event horse. So all of its things that make it rare are still there, you know? It doesn't remove that. Their demand sucks. Their demand will probably get even worse. But it's not going to ruin their value.
I am personally a V2 Clyde hater. Because they horribly ruined the back legs. And I'm gonna show this again. I even have one in my inventory. Do I even have one in my inventory? I do. I have animal. Look at their back legs. Just look. See, like, if they didn't ruin the back legs by making them completely snap every time they take a step. I would actually like them, I think. But because of that, they're permanently ruined for me because I can't unsee it. Even if I like zoom in all the way, I still just can't think and I can't not think about it. I'm like, oh, uh, it's like it looks so weird. You're yeah, you know, something tells me that light isn't working how it's supposed to. I'm excited for BBA to come back though. It's just gonna take a long, long time to set everything up properly because I don't want to release it too early again and not have things fully planned out. I'm curious. Oh, I'm going to post a, a community tab poll. There we go. All right. You know, all the Wild Horse Islands events have gotten kind of boring. Like, I only play the events now to really just get the event codes. Why does your light do that? <laughs> Why does your light do that? Mm, it's the wrong personality. Sucks. I really just need to like find someone who's selling personality potions for a decent price and then just go buy a bunch of them.
Yeah, Soul Island, they did change Soul Island technically for this most recent one. All they did was just make it more compact. That's all they changed. Yo, Kaden, that same thing kind of happened to me before my light just stopped working completely. <laughs> Just completely stopped working. <laughs> Let me see, I'm curious. So this full is gonna be OG stats. Let me just look up OG. The so one, two, three. There's three white Frisians with OG stats, but the wrong personalities. I, yeah, I hope the hunt is a decent event. I think it'll be a pretty decent event. A lot of the uh, the Roblox hosted events aren't bad. They're decent. So... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If I was able to get five personality potions, I would have every horse I need for Team Velvet. I do hope they add ear bonnets eventually. I feel like that'd be really cute. Um, I have no idea. I don't know how- I don't have any information really about the event yet. I just know it's gonna happen. Yeah, at least it'll be something to do. I'll probably stream it and play it. Because why not, you know? I've been playing- I can't lie, I haven't been playing a lot of Roblox lately. I've been playing a lot of other games like Minecraft and Genshin and stuff like that. Really? Thanks, internet. I really appreciate that. Okay, I'm not gonna stream too much longer, so I'll hop in a public server for just a little bit. Have a Minecraft stream? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, if I do a Minecraft stream, 
if i do minecraft streams i'll probably pay for like a server so then all the mods can play and stuff let me get canna Yeah, we haven't had, like, an egg hunt event for, f like, four years. So I'm excited that it's coming back. Because I used to do the egg hunt thing with my mother and my sister. Check accessories. I doubt there's anything I need, but you never know. Yeah, there's nothing I need. How many people are in the dressage team so with the dressage team like the professional ones we're gonna have a limit of 10 people per team that can actively like participate at one so we'll have like 10 official horses there might be more people on the professional dressage team so like just in case somebody's absent or things like that but we're, again, we're still working out fine details, um, but we are going to have 10 horses designated for each dressage team. Kaden. Let me see. I could probably start dressing up some of the BBA horses. Well, I'm just chilling here. I have to get some more red tail roses at some point. Um, I don't know if I'll respond, but I'll definitely take a look at them. I'll just leave my chat open. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of sad they changed Roleplay Island because, like, I don't think anybody was unhappy with how Roleplay Island currently was. I had never had- I've never heard anybody be like, oh, yeah, no, Roleplay Island sucks, it needs to be rehauled. Like, they need to redo it. I need to make some I'll make a couple of these I made the wrong one didn't I I did it's fine
Okay. Like, I don't know. I feel like Wild Horse Island's roleplay is so limited, though. Like, for all my for all my Wild Horse Island's like role players out there, what kind of role plays did you guys do? Did you guys do like wild herd role plays, like realistic role plays? Like, what kind of stuff did you guys do? Because I've really only ever seen like wild herd role plays, and that's like it. Oh, I gotta dye this guy's hair. And there's no white dye in the shop, darn it. Like, I feel like wild herd role plays can be interesting if they're just executed properly. The only- I've tried role playing a couple times in Wild Horse Islands, and it just- it's always so... Awkward. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like the, uh, the barn escape kind of role plays. Like, I don't know, I know a lot of people get upset about like, oh, like other, like humans being there and things like that. But people gotta understand, with roleplay, if you don't have like any kind of unique thing to break it up, it's gonna get boring really quick. Okay, one more. I only have one white die, so <laughs> this guy's gonna be a fake mismatch for a little bit until I get another die.
Okay. <laughs> I gotta get, uh, some more white dye here. When will this refresh? Soon-ish. Okay. This isn't an, uh... Oh, that's a cute V1. Her name is Sweat. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Hold on, I don't have a mismatch V2 white for Egypt, but I do have a mismatch V1 white Frisian. Like, that's why anytime I do role plays in Roblox games, it's usually private role plays, which is just like a certain select amount of people or certain people are brought in, so I have control over the situation, or somebody I know has control of the situation, to keep it from, like, getting out of hand. Like, people causing unnecessary drama, uh, overpowered characters, and things like that. Hello! A really cute Arabian. Yeah, it's... I can't lie. Some I mean, of you guys probably don't know this about me, but I'm a very big roleplay person. Um, I don't do a lot of, like, Roblox roleplay or things like that, but text roleplay, I do a lot. It's a very normal thing that I do. Um, I've done Warrior Cats roleplays. I've done a few Wild Horse Islands ones, but most of them don't last very long because it's very hard to keep a good one going. Um, I've done Kingdom Life role plays, SCP role plays, and it's most of the time I just do it with a small group of friends because, you know, it's more enjoyable that way when everybody's kind of on the same page, you know? Like, gosh, hold on, when did me and Evan start our thing? Hold on. Me and Evan have had a role play going back and forth since November 27th of 2022. Just consistently. Like we we do this like every single day. We've had that going for like since 2022. We also had another one that was uh That started in February of 2022, but that one got abandoned. In 2023. In like... What was it? What? That's... June. I need to get back into doing Warrior Cats stream role plays again. Those were fun. I miss those. Someone has a baby named Spoon. Yeah, this is a mismatch V1 Frieden. Yes, I am Kaveh. Ooh, murder mystery. That was kind of what we did last time we did our thing. Um, okay, goodbye internet. I'm sorry, my internet's been having a lot of issues lately. I don't know what's causing it. Let me see if I can get back in the server. 
I might be able to. Okay, I made it back in. We good, we good. But like, the last Warrior Cats roleplay we did was really fun. Um, I was the leader, and one of our moder- like, one of my moderators was the deputy. And the deputy and the med cat worked together to kill off my character. And my character, I changed into a Star Clan version of that morph. So, I was walking around, only the deputy and the medcat could see me. And I actually have a YouTube short that I posted about it. That was like a silly little short that I made based on it. But we did it on stream! So if you guys want to see that roleplay that I'm talking about, the entire thing is streamed. It was three months ago. Oh my gosh, there's the where we were playing the hunting game on stream. I need to I need to play the hunter again some more. It was fun. It was kind of a chill game where I could just talk to chat a lot. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep streaming. My stomach has kind of been hurting for the entire stream, so I'm not gonna stream too much longer. I can only take so much. Um, I also got to plan out some videos because I really need to get back into recording videos again. <sighs> as well as work on BBA, and I really want to try to plan out some more Warrior Cat roleplay stuff. Maybe, maybe we can work out a wild horse silence private roleplay thing perhaps maybe we'll see if enough people are interested i might but we'll see I know I need to do some Warrior Cat stuff at some point. Because I said I would do another one eventually. I just haven't got around to it. I also need to get like a better thumbnail for it. Which I'm probably going to talk to Tango about. I might end up- I might end stream. I'm not feeling very good. <laughs> My stomach hurts. But usually with like roleplay things, like the private roleplays, um, I have them scheduled ahead of time. So keep an eye out for the live tab to see if there's any scheduled stuff there. this forever but mm. i'm not taking stuff at the moment because my inventory is kind of like struggling right now i will i will t i can accept it some other time but for the moment i'm not taking like literally anything until i can fix my inventory issue i am gonna end stream though thank you guys for hanging out with me even though it's like really late at night for me and it probably late at night for some of you guys 
Um, I'll definitely see what I can do about setting up some roleplay stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed stream. I'll try to stream tomorrow, maybe at a better time. Not in the middle of the night. Um, I hope you guys have a good day or night. I will see you guys later.